For four years, I've been dealing with my emotions associated with your absence by praying that God will forgive my unforgiveness for your actions. Because my unwillingness to forgive has been a hindrance to my blessings and has caused me to put a yoke around my own neck. Because we, cause see, we made it through the birthdays, Christmases, and Easter baskets. We made it through the potty training and parent-teacher conferences. We made it through the wins, the losses, and free throw baskets. But I've been holding on to hatred because I can't get past it. So forgive me for my lack of excitement because you decided to come back. I realized we had our issues and I contributed to that. I understand that you missed them and who could blame me for that? But see, you can't just reappear after your disappearing act and expect the world to stop dead in its tracks. All because all of a sudden you got a revelation that you still got kids. <laughs> Perfect. I've had my share of faults, mishaps, and secrets. So I can't pass judgment on you for your neglect of my children because I failed to forgive you and give God the utmost respect. So today, I'm giving myself back my freedom. I'm casting all my cares on God so he can relieve me of my burdens. Because harboring unforgiveness against somebody who ain't worth it only makes matters worse for the one who won't let go of it. Therefore, you are released from the shackles that I put around your feet. You are free to live your life however you please, because I refuse to give you that much power over me. Life. On most days, I like to think that I'm fairly intelligent. Not book smart, but self-taught, mostly common sense. I got numerous character flaws and major insecurities. I got anger management issues and emotional instabilities. A twisted mentality to hurt others before they hurt me. But I ain't never been afraid to show people the real me. I ain't never been one to pretend just so I can fit in, but lately I've been feeling like people couldn't handle me if they knew what my innermost thoughts and secrets would be. More than likely they would be disappointed or maybe throw stones at me, but who am I living for anyway? Is it them or me? I mean, who said we can't fall down and get back up eventually? Who said there won't be trials and tribulations when existing? You see, I got, I got feelings I'm dealing with that might cost me my life savings. I got feelings I'm dealing with that might cost me my family. And this ain't no just get over a situation. This ain't no pray and wait till something happens type of thing. This is real pain. And most days I feel like I can handle it. Most days I feel like I can get a grip on it, but I can't. And the sad thing is, I don't want it to go away. The sad thing is, I can care less what they say. I mean, this is my struggle. This is my pain. This is my happiness, my solitude, my icing on the cake. And I'm around all these fake Christians who think they stuff don't stink. As if my sin is worse than they sin on their worst day or evening. As if my prayers ain't been, God, please take this cup from me. When the truth of the matter is, they struggling just like me. And if the door to their closet was open, how many skeletons would we see? The only difference is I share my sins for the whole world to see, but I don't share my sins for the whole world to judge me. Now that's between me and God, just him and me. Because if I didn't struggle with this sin, Lord knows what it would be. So I just deal with it daily. I take the bitter with the sweet. And hopefully one day my appetite for sin will no longer be. And the way I live my life will bring God his glory. But until then, I'll just keep earning my dirty laundry in hopes that somebody else struggling can receive their healing while I go off somewhere crying. Because see, it's hard to minister to somebody when you're still hurting. 
It's hard to rescue somebody when you still floating. Cause I can't be everybody's life jacket when I don't even have mine. Of course, we gonna all end up drowning, screaming, Lord, please save my life. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.